Now this isn't my first time at You and Me Hot Pot, but it's my first time bringing you to You and Me Hot Pot. You ready? Me am. I, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Beautiful, bright, sunny February afternoon, and we're getting us some Hot Pot. I'm gonna tell you about this place, show you the food, and we're gonna have a grand old time. It's February 2021, they've got Happy Chinese New Year decor up. It's so pretty. I think we're gonna be seated soon. Hi, hi, go, go, go. Oh, hi, Peanut. We're just looking forward to starting a wonderful journey together with you. Oh, thank you, Peanut. <laughs> this is so cool. Peanut takes you to your table. He tells you where he's taking you. He plays you a little song. Oh my gosh, what a good table. Here we are. Look forward to serving you next time. Thank you, Peanut. I'd say Peanut picked a great table for us. We are right next to this conveyor belt. Everything is wrapped up, but it comes out pretty much the entire meal and it stretches across the entire restaurant. The decor in here is so beautiful. The music is awesome. We're gonna get into this hot pot goodness in just a moment. They have another robot that sings your happy birthday. How cute is that? This restaurant, You and Me Hot Pot, is fairly new here in the Orlando area. They opened in June of 2020, and they've become really popular on social media. I actually did some Instagram stories about it too, so if you follow me there, you may have seen a little bit of it, because it's just so cute, it's so pretty, peanut, the little robots, and all of that, but it's a lot more than just cute and robots. Their hot pot is delicious. And if you're not familiar with what hot pot is, I'm gonna show you the whole drill. Your broth is gonna be cooked right at your table. You select the items that go in, veggies, meats, and everything. The first thing you need to do though is select your broth. So I think last time I was here, I don't remember what I got, but we're gonna just do original today because, you know, let's just keep it simple. Let's keep it to the original broth. And just for your info, at the time of making this video, the adult hot pot is $25.95. It is all you care to eat. They will refill your broth if needed. You can get as many vegetables and meats as you want to continue adding to your broth. Of course, any beverages, any of the teas or beer or anything like that that you purchase is extra on top of that. Now, besides the items on the conveyor belt, there are more items up at a bar up at the front. In order to get up and walk around, you're going to wear your mask when you enter the restaurant, your temperature checked, and you're wearing your mask when you come in. Obviously, when you're sitting at the table eating, you take your mask off, but it's on right now. We're gonna go to the bar. First, we're gonna get some meats to add to our broth. They have a pretty wide variety from seafood to, you know, just meat, meat. I'm gonna put my glove on and grab some beef. You want some of this beef. It adds to the broth. It adds like a fatty flavor to the broth. And it's just real good. Um, what else? Some chicken too. This is all frozen and it's gonna cook really quickly in your broth, right? We have pork and lamb also. I think we'll just start with this. Hopefully my meatballs don't roll away. A little bowl here for some sauce. All right, so I got poison, garlic, cilantro, crushed peanuts, and some meat. But there's a lot more to come. And there is my hot pot cooking with the original broth. This cooks at your table. You can adjust from max to min. Let's take the glove off. It is so, so, so hot that it is gonna cook your food real good. Now I, I'm gonna see what I want from the conveyor belt. Black fungus, maybe not. I definitely want noodles. You know what, while I watch what comes around, 
let's go ahead and get this started. Now, we also have a clean plate and a plate for broth and a plate for food, so that's separate from the plate with the raw meat on it and whatnot. You're gonna go ahead and just get that in there without burning yourself. It's gonna cook really quickly. Okay, that is in there. That plate goes to the side. I'll wait to mix these in at the end. Fish tofu, rice cake. I saw noodles going around. Look at this. Oh yeah. I got here some tiger milk tea. Look at how cute. It has peanut on it. That is so, so adorable. We are definitely gonna enjoy that. Oh my gosh, it happens quick. It happens quick, what do we want? Oh, spinach, definitely some spinach. Yeah, let's do some spinach. I love a lot of greens in my hot pot. So you just whack, grab that. A lot of greens. Here come a ton of greens. Some items that take a little longer to cook, like this Napa, it says two to three minutes. So that way you know. If it doesn't say that, I think it means it just cooks like instantly. Oh, here comes some bok choy. I do love bok choy, so we're gonna grab some of that. We're like right on the corner, it's cool. Swoop! Gotcha! Ooh, I was about to start doing something and then noodles started coming. All right, we have lo mein noodles, Shanghai noodles, sweet potato noodles. Which do we want? Let's do Shanghai noodle because they're in a heart bowl and they match all of the Valentine's and Chinese New Year theming. Let's get the bok choy in. So this rotating thing uh, goes constantly. So you don't have to worry that it's not gonna come back. If there's something you like, it's definitely gonna come back. Um, but some things take a while to come back. So if you see something you really, really like and want, definitely grab it. So we're gonna get the greens going in here. We're gonna just kinda gently caress them into the broth. Everything you put in the broth adds to the flavor, by the way. It all flavors the broth up. Ramen noodles are gonna come in. We'll do these first. You can hear every time Peanut is uh, bringing in new customers. Let's try the uh, milk tea, by the way, too. Oh, it's got a little, oh, it's cute. Go in here? I'll just go in here. Oh, oh, it goes in there. Mmm, it's got boba in it. Oh, that's so good. Mm. A lot of boba and a lot of delicious. These dumplings are hot fire. So I'm gonna get two of those. Oh yeah. Do not be afraid to adjust the temperature. There's like lowest, hottest, and middle. Mine is cooking like crazy because I was taking some pictures. So. I'm gonna go ahead and serve some. If you feel like it's, you know, not hot enough, you can go ahead and make it hotter. And if you feel like it's bubbling like crazy like this, go ahead and make it less hot. So I'm gonna add in all these like sauces and stuff. I just put them straight into the soup. And you can order them with other stuff. You can do it in different ways, but this is just the way I do it. I put it right in there. Mmm. But let's get that back in here. You can see probably the camera fogging up. Let's taste the broth actually. It's scalding hot, be very careful. It's so good, it's so good, but it's very, very hot, so be careful. Look at that steaming wonderfulness. The bok choy is cooked perfectly. Don't wanna overcook it now. Let's get some chopsticks and get to get to some noodles. Here we go. Mm. There's really nothing like hot pot. When you're craving it, nothing else will do. I want some of this broth in my bowl too, so we'll scoop that in here. It will come and refill your broth from time to time, or if you need it, you just ask. So now we've got a little bowl of yumminess here. Mm. It's really hot, so I'm gonna turn it down to low. Perfect. And I also got some corn. I really, really love corn in this. It's so good. Ooh, ooh. Gotta be careful when you pour it in because it could get ya. And I also love 
dumplings. It all kind of happens very quickly, but of course you can, you know, take your time and do it as fast or as slow as you want. But it's kind of exciting to just kind of like, woo, 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 like go with it and all this happening so quickly. I'm gonna put it back to medium now because I put more in. So obviously when you add more food, it makes the, the hot broth cooler. It lowers the temperature of the broth. So you wanna turn it back up. So it's kind of like a fun game of like hotter, cooler, hotter, cooler. You could just leave it full on boiling the whole time, but sometimes it'll overboil some of the lighter things. Broccoli, ooh, we want broccoli. This says broccoli is two to three minutes. So we'll go ahead and get that. I think it's veggie time. Oh, here comes one of my favorite things. Lotus root. I love lotus root. So we're gonna grab one of those. I'm always tempted to grab more, but like I just take one, mostly. Sometimes I take two. But the lotus root's pretty small. But let's just let's just get that going first. Let's get that going. Now let's put in some broccoli. My hands are very clean, by the way, very clean. Let's put in our lotus root. I don't really time it. You can time it if you want to. I just kind of like wing it and eyeball it and hope for the best, but it's always been fine. So, you know, you just, you can kind of tell when things are done because they're soft and they're done, you know? One of my favorite things to do is just kind of like stir things in. Oh, it's steaming up the lens. I love noodles. I am a huge noodle lover. I am a soup lover. The broth here is wonderful. I've tried other of the broths and they've all been great, but the original's like, you can't go wrong. Also, the milk tea is so good. Mm. <laughs> See all those beautiful boba pearls at the bottom? They come right up through that thick straw and you drink them. I think they're tapioca is what I think boba pearls are. Whatever they are, they're really good. I like to put a lot of garlic and a lot of greens in. And of course, a lot of noodles. That's just the way I prefer it. You could really customize this however you want though. I think the meat I put in earlier like disappeared. Like I have no idea where it went. <laughs> oh, there it is. You know what? It's okay if it disintegrates. Totally cool with that. Just add to the flavor, right? Anything that disintegrates into the broth just adds to the flavor. When you set it to max, it bubbles like crazy, so you wanna be careful with it. Oh, hot, that is very hot. So I like to put the broth in the bowl so you can... Mm, delicious. It's like rich and hearty broth. This is the kind of broth that like, if you weren't feeling well, let's say you're cold, you're sad, you have a cold, or you're just like bummed, this soup will heal you. You will leave here feeling better. Uh, you could take that to the bank. I'm gonna do some uh, pea sprouts. I don't know what pea sprouts are, but they look like really fresh, healthy greens. So I'm just doing it with my hand because I'm the only person eating this, so, you know, I trust myself. These are my next noodles. And I'm fine with having touched my stuff. I'm, my hands are clean, I'm good, but you can do it however you want. You can put it in with chopsticks, with the spoon. Lower, you can put it like in the spoon and lower it in. It's probably the smart way to do it. I'll do it that way next time just to show you. Ooh, one of these are done, oh, yeah. Kinda have to like constantly keep an eye on it. I find this extremely fun. Like, I don't know, like being able to just cook it yourself and like keep your eye on it and just different things cook at different like times. I'm gonna go ahead and lower that again to medium. Yummy dumplings that you cook yourself. Now check this out, they've got these all over the place so the diners can see them. It's got all of the items listed and their recommended cooking time. It's got the food allergy warning. It lets you know that the hot pot buffet cannot be shared. It's it's all you care to eat for yours, but each person has their own individual hot pot. And at the table I'm at, there's four burners, so four people could have their own hot pot. So when I do bite into something that I took out and I feel like I want it a little softer, let's drop it back in. Cook a little more. It's like it's fine. And it also lets you know there's a two hour seating limit. So there you go. There's two hours. You sit here during peak times. Okay, so that's only when it's super busy. I mean, two hours is probably a more than enough time that you need. 
I think I'm gonna grab another dumpling because I'm already eating the ones that I just cooked. Soup is hot, can cause serious burns, eat at your own risk. I would say this is something like for adults to do and if you bring your kids, like you manage their hot pot for them unless they know what they're doing and some kids may. Bamboo shoots. Oh, why not? Let's give it a go. I don't want to overdo it. I tend to do that. I get a lot of stuff. So let's work with what I've got. And uh, yeah, let's see what's on my plate. You don't want to load up and like get too much. Perfect thing to cool your mouth down. So good. So good. Sometimes I'm like not sure if something's done. So I just kind of check it out. These are really small pieces of corn. So they should be good. I think it's done. Oh, so perfect. I wish you could taste it. If you have a hot pot place near you, you should try it. There's actually another one in Orlando that I really love too, but I wanted to bring you here first and maybe I'll take the other one a little later. <laughs> this is the kind of food that like makes me, <laughs> makes me shimmy because I'm like, I can't run away. Honestly, I could just smell this and be happy. But yeah, I also have to eat it. I feel like this is very nutritious food also. Everything is full of like vitamins, minerals, good for your body things, and you can tailor it obviously to be healthier and or more more or less nutritious depending on your needs, but it's it's just like full of things that are really good. Nourishing, I think is the word I'm looking for. Let me show you what I was talking about with a gentler way to put things into the broth that maybe won't burn ya. So you can just put them into the ladle and gently drop them in. See. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Here's some bamboo. Just gently drop it right in. And that way it doesn't splash back and potentially burn you. Speaking with the lovely staff who work here, I just learned that you and me Hot Pot, actually the owners, own two other dining establishments here in Orlando, Chuan Lu Gardens, which is in downtown, and more of a traditional Chinese restaurant, which I definitely need to try soon. And then another you and me restaurant that's not Hot Pot, it's just like you and me restaurant. So both of those are gonna be up on my like to try soon list. Well, that was very nice. They just brought me this special fruit tea. It's another bestseller on the menu. It's filled with all these fruits and like gummies inside. This looks so good. Look how cute, it's got peanut on it. Mmm. Mm. It tastes like peaches and pears. Mmm. Oh, it's really good, wow. Mmm. Mmm. It's perfect for cooling your mouth off too from the hot, hot pot. Oh, that's delicious. Wow, I've never had anything like it. It's like peaches and pears and, and tea. Now as I'm getting through my hot pot, I want some more sauce. So mask back on if I wanted more meat, anything you want, you just put your mask back on and go grab it. This is my like go-to mix. Now you can use these sauces to dip things in when you bring them out of the broth. But I kind of put a lot of it just right in the broth. I put something in here that I don't like. And what it is is the bamboo, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and fish that out of there because I am not not into that. Nope, don't like that. It's okay to not like everything. And that's why you try things, you know? See what you like. I definitely found that I don't like that. So I'm taking it out. You know, I try not to, to waste things or get things um, that I'm not gonna eat, but also sometimes how do you know what you're gonna like if you don't try it? So sometimes you gotta try something and just take that gamble that you might not like it, but hey, at least you tried it. I usually do like bamboo, but not into this bamboo. Just about wrapping up now, I ate a lot of good hearty food and broth and all of that, and I'm full, and they let me know that there's a fun dessert thing, so I think that's coming soon. Young man, it's ready. Oh. Please take it away. <laughs> okay, Will. Thank you. I got it. I have never seen a person taking food so quick. Hey! Aww. <laughs> so I got some cookies and cream ice cream. Perfect way to like cool, 
cool down your mouth after a lot of hot, hot pot. Mm. Mm. Nice cooling ice cream to cool the mouth down after a scalding hot pot that was so delicious. Nothing spicy, it's just hot broth, but like it, it's so soothing. I feel regenerated, uh, but a nice cooling little bit of ice cream it's a spot. They just kindly brought me another ice cream and this one is green tea ice cream. I love that light green minty color. Probably my favorite color. A lot of the things I wear, own, and love are this beautiful minty green color. So let's try it. I love green tea. I am a huge fan of green tea, a huge fan of tea in general, big tea drinker. So I don't think I've ever had green tea ice cream though. Oh, it smells nice. Mm. Very creamy, mild, nice, delicious. Mm. That's a very nice treat. Perfect compliment to the hot pot. Those like savory, hot, steamy flavors and you're eating like a nice, light, cool, creamy ice cream. Perfect. Now I'm all done, but we're gonna take just a little bit more of a look around the restaurant and just, I'll show you a little bit more around. It's just so pretty and so cute. So you can see this is like one of the booths that I sat at. It's got the four burners on it. They'll turn them on for you, but you can go ahead and change the settings like I mentioned. You can adjust from low, medium to high. As you see the soup kind of bubbling around. This place is very Instagram and TikTok worthy. There's a lot of beautiful areas for taking photos. A little heart up here, you and me tea bar. This is where they make all of the teas and delicious specialty drinks that they have that are so, so good. They have different parts of the restaurants where they can turn on and off the conveyor belt. Right now, that side of the restaurant's being used. This side's not, but when it gets crowded, they can get this whole thing going. I love all the flowers and roses they have going on right now. Here come some more customers. Let's watch Peanut greet them. Yo, yo, yo. Please make it to the a wonderful journey. Don't get in his way, he's very busy. Here we are. Look forward to serving you next time. Your <laughs> map is ready. Don't be obsessed with me too much, please. I'm busy now. Sorry, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> robots to get angry. We all know that is not a good path for humanity. Oh, we're gonna get a special one? Okay, this is so cool. We're gonna get a little behind the scenes here. Really, really cool. Look how like high tech this all is. Got the bobas, right? Some tea. It's gonna be like blend it up in here. Oh, it's a mixer! I love the cute cups too. Beautiful, thank you. All right, bye Peanut. Bye, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, we've got a nice tea to go. I love the Buddhas that they have outside of the restaurant. And as it gets darker, it lights up. It's a really, really nice place. It's basically in like, an outdoor mall type of a situation here. So with that, I think I'm gonna head home and probably just take a nap. By the way, I did get my hair cut. Um, I haven't had a haircut for over a year since before the pandemic. I haven't set foot in a salon since before all of this. So I was really, really happy. I went to uh, Alchemy in Orlando and they treated me really nice and they did a great job. Kept it nice and long, trimmed off the ends, did my bangs, did all of that. Didn't get anything done to the color, just a cut but it felt good and I wanted to do that before my birthday, which is next week. And I have some fun special plans for that, so make sure you stay tuned so you can join me for some of that. But for now, I am gonna wrap up and thank you so much as always for joining me. I'm sending you all a ton of love. If you wanna check out You and Me Hot Pot, 
you can just Google You and Me Hot Pot Orlando. It'll be the first thing that comes up. As I mentioned earlier, they do have another restaurant called You and Me, but just put You and Me Hot Pot. They're also on TikTok, very active on social media. They have really fun stuff going on there. So if you want to check them out, you can learn more and see about any special, special events or anything like that going on. I recommend trying the original broth probably your first time, but feel free to experiment and try any of the other broths. They're all the ones that I've tried are good. I haven't tried them all though, but I'm pretty sure you can't go wrong. So <laughs> thank you so much once again. See you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay enthused, you and me.